Hi again. In this lesson I will show you the names of many um, these are not foods or more ingredients, right? But I want to show you as many of these uh, food related words as possible. And these are not strange or weird words. All these are the most common and frequently used words when we talk about food, when we go and buy some food in, in, the, in the supermarket, okay? So none of these is weird. All these are the everyday uh, words that, that we use. So I also remember this time to add the article Right, so you can know if they are feminine words or masculine words, okay? And we will start here with some categories. For example, el vegetal or los vegetales for the plural means vegetables. But vegetables in the sense of including fruits, including roots like potatoes, turnips, onions, sweet potatoes, and also uh, spinach, lettuce, cauliflower, and all those, right? That is vegetal or vegetales. It's the widest, the broadest of all the categories, right, for vegetables. Then we have la verdura or las verduras for the plural. And these are also vegetables, but it's not so broad in its meaning because this actually does not include the fruits, right? When we talk about verduras, we don't speak, we don't uh, mean fruits like uh, the, the sweet ones we use for, for, for dessert, for example, you know, like apples, oranges, plums, peaches, you know, that's not included when we talk about verduras. Then we have another category, even smaller, that is legumbres or la legumbre for the singular so legumbres are also vegetables but these are the vegetables uh, that are usually grown in, in um, vegetable gardens right like um, spinach like lettuce okay cauliflower like um, cabbage and those okay so you can see that these three translate as vegetables in English but they have different meaning this would be the first one being the broadest in meaning then the second one and then the, the third one okay and well and then we have the other category that is fruta or frutas let me write it down fruta or frutas means fruits right and fruits you know other fruits those usually usually the, the sweet ones, right? Okay, then we have la carne for the meat. La carne, you can see is feminine. Los frutos de mar. This, this is seafood, okay? Seafood or frutos de mar is squid, shrimp, oysters, okay? Then we have el pescado, which means fish. But pescado means fish in the sense of the fish we eat, or the dead fish, right? When we talk about fish that is alive, or that is in the sea, we do not say pescado, we say pes, right? Pes. This is the word for fish when it is alive, when it is free. And this is the word for fish when it is already, it has been fished. El frijol or los frijoles means beans. El churrasco for steak. El asado or la barbacoa for barbecue. Actually barbacoa can be the barbecue also in the sense of the, the place where we prepare the steak, the barbecue, right? While el asado just refers to the food, right? El pan, the bread, el pan. La tostada is the toast. La leche, the milk. El jugo, the juice. 
el refresco. El refresco es the soft drink. So, refresco can be a Coca-Cola, a Sprite, right? Any bubbly uh, drink. We have el azúcar for the sugar. La sal, the salt. El jarabe de arce for the maple syrup, jarabe de arce. Arce is the tree, right? This is the maple tree, arce. Jarabe means syrup. El edulcorante, okay? This, this has one, two, three, four, five syllables. Edulcorante, the sweetener. El vino, for the wine. La manteca, butter. La miel, for the honey. Los copos de maíz, for the cornflakes. Copos de maíz. And salad in Spanish is ensalada ending in a as you can see it is a feminine word so it is la ensalada or las ensaladas for the plural okay this is the salad okay so this is all i want to teach you for today these are names of food in spanish and in our next class i want to show you some sentences where we will be using these uh, well, some of these new words that we have just learned, okay? So, by using them in sentences, not only we will, uh, we will uh, register these words in our mind uh, more efficiently, but also we will be able to start uh, learning how the structure of the Spanish language works, okay? I see you next class.